Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 22 of designing an island in 30 days without any items. Right now on Baron, it is Thursday, November 9th. Now for today's announcements, today we have a visitor staying in the campsite. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, shake my trees, and water my flowers. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm doing pretty good. I had some really good cherry ice cream earlier, so that was that was pretty much the highlight of my day. <laughs> I've been noticing that we have a ton of fossil spots like all over the ground, so I need to dig up my fossils. I did not do that yesterday, but the good old inventory is of course full, so let's go ahead and see what Nooks has and sell all of this stuff. Okay, we're basically just selling flowers, so I doubt we're gonna get too much, but we are gonna- oh yeah, yeah, eight, 800 bells. Wow. We're rolling in it. Let's go ahead and dig up all of those fossils. Oh, <laughs> and there's two sitting right here. Wow. I have high hopes that the fossils we're going to assess today are going to be like good ones, you know? I don't know. I just have this feeling. Also, sadly, there have not been any thought bubbles on any villagers. I'm still trying to keep an eye out for that, especially when I run around and do all of my daily routine stuff. I usually pass by all of my villager houses and I always make sure to take a look and see if anybody has a good old thought bubble, including, you know, the villagers that I don't like that are on this island not naming names but some of them I just don't like hopefully they get their thought bubble soon even though I'm pretty sure we don't have that many tickets right now or nook miles so I wouldn't really be equipped for villager hunt but listen sometimes a girl can dream about thought bubbles appearing on her villagers okay oh my goodness half of these spots have been rare mushrooms I mean I guess that's good I don't know if I should just be selling those. I forget if they're worth a lot of bells. Oh, there's also a lost item here, which is great. But I mean, they are called rare mushrooms, so we might have to sell them because I am not going to use those for decorating. They are not my favorite. Okay, we managed to get a good amount of fossils, including those random two that were on the ground that I picked up. So we shall go ahead and assess these. Okay, sadly, we did not get the antler thing that I've been dying for, but I did get two of these amber things with like the little mosquito in it. So that's pretty funny. It's kind of cute. And I did get one of these, which are great because I've been using them as a little rock. So you know, we got some stuff that we can use, just not the one fossil that I want, but it's okay. Anyways, let me not keep you in suspense any longer. Let's go ahead and check our campsite villager. Now for reference, let's just take a look at our villager lineup. We have Caesar up here, who I desperately want off the island. Jambet is staying. Flo I want gone. Flip I want gone. Elmer can stay, but if he gets a thought bubble, I'll let him go. Deirdre's staying. Bo is staying, Fauna is staying, Pearl is staying, and Roswell is staying. So really, we just have three villagers to kick off, which is pretty good. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and see who we got. Oh, hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I left my, my stove on. Yep, mm-hmm. Do you think he believed me? Anyways, our plaza's looking good. I'll probably want to finish off this little corner of terraforming to make it kind of like match this other side. But that's looking good, that's looking good. I am gonna need to do some sort of flower cleanup here eventually. I mean, I started doing it a little bit yesterday, but we got all of this and we have the flower chaos and the flower breeding area. It's just kind of a lot. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and empty the inventory and I've been thinking, I've been hoarding too many fossils. Like, I am not gonna use all those fossils. So we might as well like sell some of them for bells. We can pay off this loan faster so I can actually customize the house. So let's go ahead and do all of that. Like, look at all of this. I don't, I don't need this many fossils. I'm not gonna use this many fossils. The only ones I'm gonna actually use are these little ones, you know, like this guy and these thingies over here and like these things and like the little rocks. And then of course the megalo or whatever this is once I find the left side of it. So that's really all I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab as much as I can carry right now and we're just gonna go sell them. Okay, we have almost a full inventory, so let's see how much we get. 67,000 bells, why yes, please, and thank you. Okay, you know what? I have more fossils, so I'm gonna go do that again. And another 53,000 bells, wow, that was such easy money, just hoarding fossils. 
Great! <laughs> now let's go see where that puts us when it comes to the loan, because that was a good chunk of change. I don't really have any bridges or inclines that I'm going to build right now. I kind of want to put one maybe up here. Yeah, I'm going to put one up here eventually, but that's eventually, and I don't know what I'm what I'm going to do up there yet anyways. I'm going to go ahead and put in... I guess 93,000 metals just make it nice and even in our pockets. And there we go. I would say we're almost halfway there, right? <laughs> almost there to the halfway point. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check our rating, see if anything has changed from last time. I think I picked up a bunch of stuff. Oh no, I did just drop a bunch of stuff by my house earlier this morning, so we'll see. We're probably still sitting at four stars. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I, that's what I thought. This island lacks appealing scenery. Girl, what are you talking about? And she still talks about fencing. Okay. And of course, there's too many items lying around. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, we may have a bit of a struggle when it comes to getting to four stars, so... Potentially, we might need to use like bugs and fish, like expensive bugs and fish, and maybe some of our fossils to, uh propel us up there a little bit more. Maybe I shouldn't have just sold all of those fossils. I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's get on with our day. I'm looking at our map right now and we definitely need to be thinking about where our future villager houses are going to go. I still have those four down there on the bottom right corner area that do not have a permanent like location right now. And I'm like, where the heck am I going to put these? I could fit one more house where like Bo and Pearl's house is up on that cliff but I'm not sure if I want to do that. We have four houses, so we could make kind of like a little mini neighborhood somewhere. I'm thinking kind of like the area where my little marker is right now. That seems like it has the most space, either that or just on the bottom right corner. We could keep the neighborhood over there, but just set it up nicely. I don't know, Ugh, but I have to figure it out because we need to start working on that, honestly, so. Let me just go start moving someone's house and I'm, I'm just gonna have to figure it out. So I did go ahead and grab, whose is this? Elmer's plot. However, I cannot decide where I want to place things. So I'm thinking I'm going to start making a little path that's connecting this bridge, the airports and resident services. And once I lay out that path, maybe that will kind of help me figure out like placements and everything. Like, can we even fit four houses in a certain area? Like, you know, where where am I gonna put all this stuff? I don't know. So I'm just gonna do this and hopefully this will help me. I kind of like spread things out a little bit too much. I really should have just figured out all the houses like first, like from the get go. That would have been really helpful or maybe not done like a sprawled out neighborhood. Maybe I should have done a neighborhood that's like all the houses are close together and, and tight knit because that just makes it easy. 10 villager houses is a lot when you actually think about it and, and see it and you have all of them. Like there's only so much space on your little island. Also I'm using a heating pad right now for my cramps and Peach my cat is just laying directly on top of it and I'm like Girl, this is not for you, but I'm glad you're enjoying it, I guess. <laughs> she is so funny. It cannot be comfortable for her to lay on it because it's actually like a, a Kirby shaped heating pad. It's really cute. My boyfriend got it for me and it's like Kirby, you know, like Kirby's like a ball and he's like laying down, but oh, I did not mean to talk to them. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't care about this drama right now. <gasps> Look at him being mean to Flo. Look at him. Flo is in shock right now. Wow, Caesar, you are so mean. Get him out of here, am I right? Get him out of here. Anyways, as I was saying, my Kirby heating pad, it's like round at the top because he's laying down like on his belly. That's how he's shaped, but he still has like his round body. So it's kind of like um slightly ball shaped. And then like the bottom part where the heating element is, is flat. And you press that against your body and it looks like Kirby's like laying on top of you. So my cat Peach is just laying on top of the round part. I don't even know if she feels the heat. She probably has to because this is so uncomfortable, Peach. She's got like half of her body on the heating pad and her other half, like her back legs are just on my legs. She is just so silly. Cats are really so stubborn. They they will just lay in the most uncomfortable positions just because they want to and they insist. Let me go ahead and start making the path that's going to come from resident services. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, this can be centered with just two... 
um, spaces across. Unlike the museum. The museum is so frustrating. Okay, here's how it's looking. So it comes from resident services. We just got to get rid of these trees. We do a left and then we do a... Is this a left? Yes, a left. <laughs> then we go all the way down here and then it leads you to the airport or you could do a left and take this path. I gotta, I gotta fix up all these trees and stuff and it leads you to this. So yeah, there we go. I'm trying to do as much of this in-game pathing as possible on the island because it's just making it look like nice and filled in. And really, I don't do a lot of in-game pathing on my islands usually. I usually use custom designs which don't show up on the map. So this is nice, this is nice. And I guess I'll round off these edges because I think that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to keep it consistent. But yeah, that made me inspired to decorate this cliff up here. So I think I might work on that next once I decide on the housing plot thing, which let me look back at the map, which I guess like if you look at where my little red marker is, I think I could fit four houses here and this could just be like a little cluster of a neighborhood. I guess let's try it. I'll probably put Elmer as far back as possible. He'll be like the top left corner of the neighborhood. Let me imagine this. I think that's good. And he'll have that little like doohickey dongle over on the left where I could put some more stuff. Let's do it. I'll do it then. So yeah, his house will be the top left corner. I'll put another house over here to the right. Oh, actually, wait a sec. Is that going to be too close? I would have to put it. Mm, I don't know. Oh, I'm kind of second guessing this besties. Ugh, I don't know. Unless I don't make it a square, you know, unless I put him back there. And then just, I don't, you know what? I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> we placed Elmer. I'm just going to call that done and we'll just figure it out later. I don't know. This is too much for my brain right now. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and order some more lanterns. And I'm going to order some KK songs because these are pretty expensive items. And I could use those throughout the island in case we need to get our rating up a little bit, you know? But I'm kind of getting sick of this orangey yellow sun. Um, I kind of want just like a bright blue sky. So I'm going to go ahead and time travel to the next day. Let's go ahead and get into our daily routine. I'm going to check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, shake my trees, and water my flowers. We haven't had any luck, besties, with any more flower breeding. I mean, I think this is kind of getting getting a little too out of hand for them to really do anything. I don't think they really have any more space to make hybrids except for these purple ones over here so they better get to work and make some green ones. Hello! But anyways, I went ahead and I grabbed some items because I want to decorate that little cliff that I was talking about over here this bad boy. I really want to decorate it. So we're going to do that. Um, let me go grab a couple more things like bushes and uh, flowers and trees and we'll get to it. Oh, actually, first I'm going to go check nooks because I need to grab some more cedar tree um, saplings. Oh my goodness. They have the wheat field item. This hurts so much. This hurts. I freaking love that item and I can't use it. I am just waiting for them to have the duster back in stock, honestly, and it has not been happening so far, but I did need to grab grab a shovel and I'll grab this lacy parasol. It's cute. And then I'm going to grab a whole bunch of cedar saplings. Oh my goodness. Why is everybody here right now? Don't you guys have somewhere to be like for real? So I was thinking that we could just do a little waterfall. I thought the waterfall would be really cute right here where I'm standing. And then we could have like a little pond and just decorate the area. I think it's going to be good. I was going to say I'm going to remove these trees, but I guess the uh, good old inventory is full once again. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let me go ahead and fix this up. I cleared out all the trees, so we're looking good. I'm just going to fix these little patches in the path right here. And then I'm going to fix up this little part of the cliff that I couldn't fix before because there was a tree. And there we go. All fixed. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on our good old waterfall. I think this is going to be real cute. I think we're just going to do one simple one just like that. And then since we're up here, we might as well put some trees, you know. So I'm going to do a one right here on the right side. And then we're going to do the same on the other side because it's just going to work out perfectly. There we go. Honestly, I could put so many trees up here and I think I will because I really want it to feel woodsy and foresty and everything. So I'm going to have to go and get more trees after this to put down below, but that's okay. We do what we have to do for the aesthetic. Okay, so one more in the middle. That's looking good. Now let's figure out what we're doing for this little pond thingy. Of course, we have to give our wonderful little waterfall a matching 
pond. So I just got to figure out how big it's going to be, all that stuff. Okay, what do we think? Is that cute? I think that's cute. So now we can go ahead and just kind of decorate the surrounding area a little bit. You know, not too much, but just some things here and there as we have been doing. We're gonna start off with a tree over here. There we go. And you know what? I just, I have the urge to get completely sidetracked right now. And I think I'm gonna do it because I just thought about this other bridge that's up here and this doesn't have a path. It just does not have a path. Like the rest of the bridges have their little paths that lead you to different bridges and different parts of the island and everything like that. So we need to fix this immediately. Don't mind me getting very sidetracked. Don't mind me. And here's how the map is looking after that. I, I don't know if you're interested in seeing that, but I figured I would show you. Let's get back to what we were working on. We're going to put another cedar tree on this side over here. And then let's start decorating. I'm going to put some in-game pathing right down there. And we're going to put a bush on top. I need to start putting some little dirt patches underneath my bushes and, and my trees when I remember to, because it just spices up the map so nice. I love those little dots everywhere, you know? And you you know what? I'm gonna do it right over here. I'm gonna plant some of these black tulips that we got. And then I'm gonna go for just a little bit of symmetry, just a little touch, just a little sprinkle, okay? Just a dab. And I'm gonna do our little round circle custom design thingy. And I'm gonna do a lantern and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Very cute, very cute. And then remember, like, I don't know how many episodes ago I got the recipe for this freaking log fencing. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm sick of using the other fencing pieces. Like I'm gonna use this one. And then I never use this one well today we're finally gonna use this one okay okay i finally remembered to craft some of it so we're gonna go ahead and utilize some of that in this area there we go looking cute this fence i don't know about you guys but at least before um 2.0 this was like a fence that you could only get from hacking like the game or going to like a hacked treasure island. So to me, this fence still feels like so illegal because like the only time you ever saw this fence was if someone had a hacked switch or like went to a hacked treasure island and it was like, ooh, like, you know, it's, it's a little spicy. It's spicy stuff. <laughs> and now it's just in the game. So that's cool. I'm glad they did that. But I don't know. I'm just so used to it being like not attainable you know what i mean we got our little cricket friend so here we go i'm just gonna turn him around just like that okay now on to the other side i also picked up some of these uh wheat plants and i'm gonna use that as some decoration and then i'm gonna do some clovers right in front and I think for the last thing over here on this side, I'm going to do our little gyroid that I was going to use. He's such a cutie. And then we still have some spaces over here. Let's just fill these in. I'm going to do some glowing moss and I'll do a little stepping stone. And honestly, that'll be it for this side. So that looks cute. I like it. You know, it's our typical stuff of things that are not really items, but but kind of you know what i mean let me also work on um this upper area just a little bit i don't know if i have enough to fully decorate that but we can we can do some stuff i think i'm gonna put this kkcd back here and i'm just gonna shove it behind this tree so it's kind of hidden um i mean i don't really mind if you see it like it's cute but i don't really want it on full display so i'm just gonna put that back there just to add items to our island rating and all that jazz. I'm gonna put down a couple splotches of dirt here and there and then of course we're gonna do our typical thing of putting some flowers or bushes on it. I'm gonna do our little rock fossil up here. I'll do some glowing moss in the back. Cute cute cute. Some little footprints. I'll do a bush right here. I'm gonna place this little grape harvest basket guy over here. Then I'm gonna do another gyroid. He's gonna go right here in the middle. Look at him living his best life strutting his stuff but yeah i think that's pretty much it for this i'm not feeling anything else up there you know i'm not getting that vibe that we should put anything else up there so i think it's done this little section is officially complete would you look at that 
so cute love it love it i think i'm gonna go ahead and go to tomorrow because we have that little house down on the bottom right by the lake and i want to move that house because i think i want to do some chair reforming over there i know i said i would work on the other side of residence services and like the cliffs that are supposed to go here but I'm not feeling I'm not feeling called by that right now, you know? I kind of want to do some cliffs over here because I want to do a little cemetery build. I feel like that can be one of our builds that we do, you know, one of our five. But I need it to be elevated. I need some cliffs for that. We are here on the next day. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be straight up. I'm not gonna lie to you because, you know, I'm not the type of person who is gonna go and lie to you. I just don't feel like doing daily routine right now. I'm sorry, I said I'll be honest. <laughs> but I shook my money tree and I'm sure I'll find my money spot today sooner or later. And if I see the bottle, I'll pick it up, you know. Let me go ahead and move this house, which is ugh, Caesar's house. I'm also gonna dump some money into our savings because we're looking pretty good now that I shook that money tree. I think I'm gonna do... How much do we do, besties? I'm feeling 70,000? Let's do 70... Oh, that was 7,000. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do 77,000 with this. Okay. That's good. That's good. And then also some little boots, just because they're cute. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to talk to freaking Caesar to move his house. Ugh, I hate this. I hate that there's only a chair's width between us. I don't want to be this close to him, okay? I really don't. So this is where I was wanting to put the house, but is this too close to the path and to the other house? Or is it kind of like cute, you know? And then we could have two more houses, like the same width space apart, also like in front of them to make like just like a square. I think I'm just gonna do it like at this point. I, I don't know. They can have a shared yard or something. They can be besties. They, it's their problem at this point, not mine, okay? I'm the one out here doing the rest of the work, you know? I'm making this island beautiful. Nobody else is doing anything. So if they just have to be a little cozy together, then I feel like that's the least of their worries, you know? They're living a, a beautiful paradise island life. They can suck it up. So I think I will have to time travel again just to get this house moved. So let me just do it. We are here on the next day. And I'm thinking this big empty spot is kind of where I want to start doing the little cliff that we're going to do. Of course, we can't go too far back because the campsite is back here. But, you know, I feel like we can make it a decent size. So let me start picking up some of these flowers because they're kind of in the way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start up the island designer and get to it. I probably won't do that little cemetery build today because I'm going to be working on the cliffs. I'm also going to go check our island rating after this. Oh, and we should do a Cap'n Island. I haven't done a Cap'n Island in a bit, but I'm going to do another one again because we still haven't gotten potatoes and there's been a couple recipes that I've been wanting to make that I need potatoes for and we haven't had potatoes. So, and of course, Caesar has to be over here. Like I am busy. I'm busy. I'm working. I'm working up a sweat and he's just over here working up his own type of sweat, doing his own recreational activities. Do you not want to contribute to the island, sir? Do you have nothing to offer? So this is how it's looking so far. Here's our little flower breeding area. Disaster. <laughs> Fauna. Fauna, ex hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, okay, no. She just got carried away buying a beret. I, me too, bestie. I do that all the time. Literally, don't even worry about it. I'll, I will take care of that for you. Oh my goodness, what color is the beret? Imagine she gives us the iconic green beret. No, it's the red one. That's okay. That's okay, Fauna. You missed the mark, but it's all right. Let's go do that Cap'n Island like I was talking about. Okay, we are here and I don't think there's anything exciting. Dang it, is this another bust? I think it is. We have a different type of flower, but I'm not really interested in pansies, honestly. So I think I'll probably skip on taking any of those. Um, I'll just grab the gyroid and the coconuts. I really wanted an exciting Cap'n Island and it failed. It failed to deliver. I'm very sad. Okay, I'm gonna check the island rating again. I know, I, it, I know it probably hasn't changed, but I just have to check. You know, maybe at any given point in time, we're only like one item away from getting five stars you never know i gotta check i also feel like i've been picking up all of my stray items littered about the floor so i don't know what isabel's saying about 
too many clutter items on the floor. Maybe it's the stuff I've been dropping as decoration. I don't know. We might have to reconsider those dropped items if she keeps talking about the, the dropped items on the floor. But she did not talk about the clutter. I think we fixed that. I think we fixed it. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. So we just need more like items and stuff. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and move another house and just keep working on that little neighborhood portion that I've been working on. Oh, I don't remember whose houses I have to move. I think it's just flow and flip. Yeah, it's just flow and flip. Okay, okay, we'll do flow first. I think this is where we're gonna put Flo's house. I am hoping and praying that it is in line with the house behind it. I'm, I'm totally guessing and totally going in blind. I think it's centered. I think it's centered, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we did it. Hopefully that's not too close. That looks a little close. Oh well, we'll have to deal with it, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, I think I've done all that I've wanted to do today. Um, we started working on that cliff area for the graveyard cemetery thing that I'm gonna do. We decorated this, which is very cute. I love it. We got some progress done on this little mini neighborhood that's gonna be over here, which hopefully turns out okay. And we also put a good chunk of change into our savings to pay off our loan. So I'm very happy about that as well. Tomorrow I will probably work on this and probably have to start dealing with this dumpster fire so that'll be fun and I'm hoping that we get to five stars soon. I really think we can do it. I think it's just gonna take a little bit of work. We may have to be placing some secret fossils here and there to kind of boost our score and all that stuff but yeah I'm excited to keep working. Good progress as always besties. Thank you for hanging out with me so so much. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my social media, my merch, all that kind of fun stuff. You know what to do and I will see you tomorrow.